adjectives are words that describe or modify nouns. They can provide information about a noun's size, shape, color, smell, taste, texture, origin, material, and other qualities. Adjectives can also express our feelings about a noun. There are many different ways to classify adjectives, but some of the most common types include descriptive adjectives. These adjectives describe the physical qualities of a noun, such as its size, shape, color, smell, taste, and texture. Examples, big, small, red, green, sweet, sour, soft, hard. Quantitative adjectives. These adjectives tell us about the quantity or number of nouns. Examples, one, two, three, many, few, several, some. Demonstrative adjectives. These adjectives point out nouns. Examples, this, that, these, those. Possessive adjectives. These adjectives show who or what owns something. Examples, my, your, his, her, its, are, their. Interrogative adjectives. These adjectives are used to ask questions. Examples, which, what, whose. Proper adjectives. These adjectives are formed from proper nouns and are used to describe nouns. Examples, French, American, Chinese, British. Compound adjectives. These adjectives are made up of two or more words. Examples, bright red, brand new, bittersweet. Other types of adjectives include articles. Articles are special adjectives that are used to introduce nouns. Examples, a, an, the. Participial adjectives. These adjectives are formed from verbs and can be used to describe nouns. Examples, running, sleeping, broken, baked. Appositive adjectives. These adjectives add more information about a noun, but they are not essential to its meaning. Examples, the old house, my best friend, the delicious cake. Adjectives can be used in a variety of ways in a sentence. They can be placed before the noun they describe, attributive adjectives, or they can follow the noun and be linked to it by a verb, predicative adjectives. Attributive adjectives, the big dog barked loudly, the red apple fell from the tree, the happy children played in the park. Predicative adjectives, the dog is big, the apple is red, the children are happy. Adjectives can also be used to compare nouns. There are three degrees of comparison, positive, comparative, and superlative. Positive degree, this is the basic form of the adjective. It is used to describe a noun without comparing it to other nouns. Examples, big, red, happy. Comparative degree, this is used to compare two nouns. To form the comparative degree, add, er, uh, to the end of the adjective, or use the word, more, before the adjective. Examples, bigger, redder, happier, more big, more red, more happy. Superlative degree, this is used to compare three or more nouns. To form the superlative degree, add est to the end of the adjective, or use the word most before the adjective. Examples, biggest, reddest, happiest, the most big, the most red, the most happy. Adjectives are an important part of speech. They can help us to make our writing and speaking more descriptive and expressive. Here are some more examples of adjectives in use. The warm summer breeze was refreshing. The loud music made it difficult to hear. The delicious smell of baking cookies filled the air. The soft fur of the cat was inviting to touch. The beautiful sunset was a sight to behold. Adjectives can be used to create vivid images in the reader's mind and to evoke emotions. They are an essential tool for any writer or speaker who wants to communicate effectively.